Hello everybody, so today I'm gonna show you how to install the Tutor website. It is similar like uh, WordPress. For that, I have to install the PHP and MySQL. In order to run that, I'm gonna use XMAP. It's a server. So let me just extract this site over here come over here on my download so i can do ls right in order to run this so i can give the permission so i can do sudo chmod x and and now it's executable so i can just clear this out and do ls then in order to run this installation i could just do this and use this enter let's wait for it it's very simple to install this and we can just do next and next it will install in opt lamp folder so let's go next and next don't so let's do close next and now it will install the package mysql and php as well as pearls let's wait for it it has completed now we can do finish and now the widget look like this let's get started so right now stop it all and like if you want to start mysql database you can go like this and do start you just have to wait for a few seconds but normally you don't need this so i will show you the another way to start this server so let me just stop it right and let me just start the apart Apache server let's get started and it's stopping over here so Apache is running so let me just cancel it out yes it has successfully installed so now I need to be on download right CD downloads now i need to copy this i could do just to sudo then copy all the file inside our tutor and it's inside opt lamp and let me just see what's over there so i need to put this inside as docs let's do enter now we have kept inside there now let's start the jam server so i have to do sudo opt lamp jam start start so i could just do local host we have to find the odd tutor location so for that we are inside st docs let's go inside there and cd opt then lamp jam x let's do ls then we are as the st docs ls then we have the odd tutor let's do cd then let's do enter here is our file so we have to configure this odd tutor so in order to do that let's copy this so that's our folder so let's do enter now we have to install this continue then everything is enabled let's do fresh installation so we click on install then you do i agree so for that so you have to use our database a name you can do root and you can pull this as a default let's do next now let's wait for a few seconds database has been created now we can do next you have to put the username so i could just do admin and password is also admin you can put the email whatever you want a uh, sinister geek at the rate gmail.com you can give your course server is a default name i think it should be linux by geek and i could just copy and paste this just over there here we can put this at the default so now we can uh, create the personal account for that you can do sinister and i could use the same id so let me just copy this and paste it over here i mean i could do sinister geek over here and let me just put the name same as this one and now i could do next so here i need to create the content folder so let's get back into our terminal you could do ls grid 
content so there is a content.php but we want folder right let's say yes we need a folder so for that i could do mkdir content so i need like sudo permission is our file so php file i haven't given writable permission that's why it's not taking it so i have to do w then let's do i was uh, giving a wrong permission above here and let's give it once more try again now it has successfully content directory has been created now let's go next and now it has finally done it so let's get next and let's do login so in order to log in i could do admin and admin for that let's do enter let's go save now voila we are inside it thank you guys